What's up? This is Squad 24 for a well following Silent Hill 17 modding video. Today we'll be installing a few GoPros, a plow mount, and a hitch sander onto the 2018 Ford F250 King Ranch to get it ready for the winter season. So we'll be starting off with a plow mount. We'll be lowering this into place, and I will be scripting the new cameras and also the plow mount off camera. So for this plow mount, we wanted to kind of go right underneath the bumper so that it does not go on the inside. I I did remove the cube map on all of the chrome and the body of the truck. I really do like the look without the chrome uh, cube map. So it looks pretty cool. I did also remove it from the plow mount to pretty much go along with it. So you guys can see it's almost like a matte black instead of being shiny. But it still looks very nice. So up next we'll be moving around back here to this plow mount. And uh... This is a very interesting sander. I really do like it a lot, and it's very nice how uh, it just goes inside of the hitch and you do not have to remove your tailgate or put that large of a sander inside of the truck. So we'll be just lowering this down into place. Now this might need a little bit of rescaling. It is a pretty large one, so I think we'll kind of come over here. I would like to rescale it just to probably nine, just making it a little bit smaller. But if you do have any cool plow truck ideas, let me know down below in the comments. We'll be starting to do some Chevy and some GMC plow trucks along with some Dodges since we did do a few Fords. So next up, like we're saying, stay tuned for those and even a few snow blowers. So we will need to lower this down. That almost looks like it's good, but I think that we'll kind of have to center it. That looks good. We'll move it in as close as we can. That actually looks awesome. Right about there. Really good distance away. And I do like this a lot. It's a very cool feature and very uh, easy to install. And then this GoPro I did take off of the walker mower back in FS15. So we'll be copying this. And I think that it would be pretty cool to have one right up here. Like right in the center. I really want this to look good also. So we'll be kind of rotating it. And this is a pretty easy thing to remove. And I will also maybe look into having it so when you buy it in the store, that might be a very interesting thing when you buy it in the store. Uh you could have the option for the GoPros or not. So I think I might look into that. So we got one over there. Next up, I really want one right here, right on the center of the plow mount. I think that that'll be a pretty nice location. Up next, we're gonna have to select this, put it to, I believe. Uh, we have to put it to 90, so that's good right about there. And then I think we'll probably do one right in the back of the truck. And I think also while we are kind of working on this, I think we'll probably take a look and see if we do need to remove the Q map on the windows. I think that it might look a little bit better. I will also have to look at that off camera, but we'll kind of switch this to negative 90 and take a look at that, guys. We installed the GoPros, everything like that. And then like I said, the final thing I have to do is to script everything but we'll come over here to material editing and I would like to see what this would look like without having the windows uh, with the Q map now the Q map really just makes everything shiny but sometimes I like it not to be shiny so let's take a look I think that uh having it kind of like that might be good I will have to take a look at that in game also but hope you guys enjoyed today's video before we uh, call it a day we do actually have to go to the lights so let's Fine. the turn signals and I believe that there's a few looks like there are none working so I think that I will have to work on those lights off camera I hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and subscribe for more